The secret of the Lord is with those who fear Him. Salam, chapter 25, verse 14. What is the sign of a friend? Is it that he tells you his secret sorrows? No, it is that he tells you his secret joys. Many people will confide their secret sorrows to you. But the final mark of intimacy is when they share their secret joys with you. Have we ever let God tell us any of His joys? Or are we continually telling God our secrets, leaving Him no time to talk to us? At the beginning of our Christian life, we are full of requests to God. But then we find that God wants us to get us into an intimate relationship with Himself, to get us in touch with His purposes. Are we so intimately united to Jesus Christ's idea of prayer? Your will be done. That we catch the secrets of God? What makes God so dear to us is not so much His big blessings to us, but the tiny things, because they show His amazing intimacy with us. He knows every detail of each of our individual lives. Him shall He teach in the way He chooses. At first, we want the awareness of being guided by God. But then, as we grow spiritually, we live so fully aware of God that we do not even need to ask what His will is. Because the thought of choosing another way will never occur to us. If we are saved and sanctified, God guides us by our everyday choices. And if we are about to choose what He does not want, He will give us a sense of doubt or restraint, which we must heed. Whenever there is doubt, stop at once. Never try to reason it out, saying, I wonder why I shouldn't do this. God instructs us in what we choose. That is, He actually guides our common sense. And when we yield to His teachings, and guidance, we no longer hinder His Spirit by continually asking, Now, Lord, what is your will?